After a day shearing, I come home and I have to wash my combs and cutters. It's a daily chore for a professional shearer, but if you're a hobby farmer, you may not know that you should be washing your gear straight after you use it every day. This ensures you don't get your gear rusty and you'll get you'll keep your gear nice and shiny so the combs slip along the skin much easier. Also, if you leave your combs and cutters um, in and around water for too long, the combs and cutters get rusty and that rust can bite into the teeth of the comb causing jagged edges which can get caught on the sheep's skin and cut the sheep accidentally. So it's very important at the end of every day that you wash wash your combs and cutters up after your work. I don't wash my combs and cutters up uh, during the during the shearing day but I wash them of an evening so I make a habit of it when I come home from shearing a day's sheep shearing for the day I put my combs and cutters straight into the hot water and put the dishwashing liquid straight into it leave it for 10 minutes and then come back and wash it with my kitchen brush it's easy to get all the grime and all the lanolin off the combs and cutters and all the wool from between the teeth of the comb and cutter so it's just a matter of going through the process. I normally do this while I'm washing my shearing clothes at the same time. That's why you can hear the, shear- the washing machine in the background. So here I am, I'm just drying the combs and cutters really quickly. As you can see, everything's nice and clean and there's no residual lanolin or wool left on the teeth. And if there is, I make sure I get them all off. So wiping them up just nice and steady, just getting all that extra extra grime off and making them nice and dry so they won't get rusty. Here you can see just a tiny bit of wool left underneath the, the cutter. If I leave that wool in there, that's going to cause a buildup of grit in the emery and it will um, clog my emery papers up. So I just remove that little bit of wool from underneath that cutter blade and that just makes it um, so there's no wool getting caught in my emery blades when I'm grinding which ensures a long life for the emery blades so that's what I do when I get home from work after I'm after a day shearing and I'm grinding my and I get ready to grind my combs and cutters